Ever heard of the European Health Insurance Card, or EHIC? Ever wondered how to get healthcare coverage across the European Union in other EU member countries than the one that you're registered? Are you planning to travel to Europe and across Europe and you're wondering how to stay covered in case of a medical emergency? In today's video, we'll explain what the EHIC is, how it works, who qualifies, and why it's an essential travel document for anyone in the European Union or the European Economic Area. Let's dive in. So number one, what is the European Health Insurance Card, the EHIC? So it's a free card that provides access to medically necessary state-provided health care during a temporary stay in any EU member state, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, or Switzerland. The HIC ensures that you receive health care under the same conditions and costs, often free, as local residents. Now, there were a number of key words there, uh, including medically necessary, state provided, meaning it's government health care, not private, and same conditions and costs. And also temporary stay is a, is a super key word there, right? So a lot of key terms that you need to know in there. So keep that in mind. Moving on, who can get an EHIC? So the card is available to citizens and legal residents of European Union countries and countries in the EEA, the European Economic Area. However, UK residents can now apply for a global health insurance card, GHIC, which works similarly post-Brexit, but with some limitations. And each individual in your family needs their own EHIC, including children. So if you're moving to Europe with your whole family, you got to get a card for each individual person in your family. Okay. And we're going to talk about that in this video, how to actually get the card. Before that, what does the EHIC cover? So it covers state provided health care for treatments that are medically necessary during your stay. This includes number one, um, emergency care for illnesses or injuries that require immediate attention. Number two, it covers chronic or pre-existing conditions, right? So that you can access necessary treatment like not dialysis or chemotherapy, whatever, as long as it's arranged in advance. Number three covers maternity care if you're pregnant and need routine or emergency care. And number four covers accidents, so any unexpected injuries during your trip. It's important to note that the EHIC does not cover private health care, repatriation, or treatments that can wait until your return home. Now, how do you apply for an EHIC? The application process is straightforward, and it depends on your country of residence, right? So number one, you want to find your country's EHIC portal. Each EU EEA country has its own healthcare system and application site. For example, in Spain, you can apply for the Seguridad Social website, and in France, through Assurance Maladie. So whatever European country you are registered in, that's the country you got to order the card from. Number two, fill out the application form. So provide personal details such as your name, date of birth, and national health insurance number. Number three, receive your card. This card will usually arrive by post within a few weeks. Pro tip, by the way, some countries provide a temporary certificate if you need immediate coverage while waiting for the physical card. So take a look at if a temporary certificate is possible, you know, something that you can print out. Okay, why do you need an EHIC? This should be obvious by now, but the EHIC is a must have for expats, tourists, and students, because number one, it's gonna be huge cost savings. It either reduces healthcare costs or makes treatment free in participating countries. Two is the peace of mind. You're covered for unexpected medical issues, letting you focus on enjoying your travels. Number three, easy access to care, so no need to deal with complicated insurance claims or upfront payments for state health care. And number four, it's accepted across the EU EEA, so it's valid in over 30 countries, which is pretty awesome. 
Now, what are the limitations, okay? While the EHIC is incredibly useful, it's not a catch-all solution. Here are some limitations to be aware of. Number one, private health healthcare is excluded. So if you prefer private hospitals or doctors, the EHIC won't help. Number two is non-medical costs. So things like medical evacuation or repatriation are not covered. You'll need separate travel insurance for those. Number three is limited validity. So EHICs have an expiration date and need to be renewed periodically. So something to be keep, keep in mind is you got to keep your card up to date. And number four is there's no coverage outside the EU slash EEA area. Okay, so it's only going to work for participating countries. And people might ask about Brexit and the UK and what's up with that. So if you're from the UK, things have changed since Brexit. The HIC has been replaced by the GHIC, the Global Health Insurance Card, as we referenced earlier. It works similarly, but there are some exceptions, such as it will not cover Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, or Switzerland. Okay. Now, how does the EHIC compare to travel insurance? An EHIC is not a substitute for travel insurance. Here's how they differ. Number one, um, the EHIC covers necessary health care in public facilities within participating countries. And two, travel insurance covers private care, repatriation, cancellations, and lost luggage. So they're actually very complementary in that sense, okay? So you, you kind of want to ideally have both. For comprehensive production, it's, it's ideal to have both. Let's put it that way. So here are some uh, rapid fire tips for using your EHIC. Number one, carry it with you. Keep it accessible like in your wallet or passport holder. Number two, verify before treatment. So ensure the healthcare provider accepts the EHIC. Number three, plan ahead uh, for ongoing treatments like dialysis, arrange appointments in advance. And number four, know your rights. Familiarize yourself with what's covered in the country that you're visiting, okay? Closing thoughts, the HIC is an essential tool for travelers and expats in Europe, offering peace of mind and access to affordable health care. Whether you're on vacation, studying abroad, or just exploring a new country, having an EHIC ensures you're prepared for the unexpected. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know in the comments if you've used an EHIC before or if you're planning to apply and what your experience has been. I'm sure we'd all love to read about your experience. And by the way, if you're looking to move to Europe, maybe you need a golden visa for Spain or Portugal or Italy or Cyprus or any type of visa for Europe, Spain non-lucrative visa, hit us up, My Latin Life. There's a link in the description to book a call. You can become our client. We can give you a whole holistic plan, how to move from Canada or the US to Europe, things like that. Um, so make an appointment with us and we're happy to build you a custom game plan for Europe. Cool. Catch you in the next video.